Do 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 Hey little sister, what have you done? Hey little sister, who's the only one? I let you go for so long. I let you go for so long. I let you go for so long. It's a nice day for a wife. Wedding. Nah. <laughs> hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Boozhoo, not a Boozhoo, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Natasha. Now please welcome Nana Boozhoo. Okay, hey, me gwetch we ni mushain. Thank you, sweetheart. And boozhoo ni Anishinaabe doog. Hello, my fellow Anishinaabe, my fellow human beings. How are you today? Anin, A-G-A-I-N. How are you? And today's Ojibwe word of the day. Oh, wow, we got a great one planned today. We sure do. Um, what do you want the Ojibwe word to be? Actually, we we got a letter. We did? Oh, yeah. Somebody wrote into Facebook. They were like, hey, can you, um, where is it now? Here it is. Dear Nana Buju and Natasha, can you talk about the legend of the dream catcher? Yeah, sure. I'll talk about the dream catcher. So today is Ojibwe word of the day. Bwajige Nagwagan, dream catcher. And this is the story of the dream catcher. This is the story. This is how the old Ojibwe say Spider Woman helped bring Grandfather Son back to the people. Oh. To this day, Asipikeshi Ikwe, Spider Woman, will build her lodge before dawn. And you know, if you're awake before dawn, as you should be, mm -hmm. you can look for her lodge and you will see how she captures the sunrise as the light sparkles on the dew. So Asipikeshi Ikwe took care of her children, the people of the land, and she continues to do this to this day. But back in the days of the grandfathers, in the ancient world of the Ojibwe nation, the clans were all located in one area called Mashike Minise, called Turtle Island. And when the Ojibwe nation dispersed to the four corners, Asabageshi Ikwe, Spider Woman, had a difficult time making journeys to all those baby cradle boards. You know, she's just got them little legs. She couldn't, she couldn't make the journey. So the mothers, the sisters, and the grandmothers weaved magical webs for the new babies using willow hoops and sinew. The shape of the circle represents how Grandfather Sun travels across the sky. The dream catcher, Bawajike Nagwagan filters out the bad dreams and allows only good thoughts to enter into our minds when we are asleep. A small hole in the center of the dream catcher is where the good dreams come through. And with the first rays of sunlight, the bad dreams all perish. Mm. So when you see little Asipikeshi Ikwe, when you see little spider woman, you should never fear her but instead respect and protect her. Oh, yeah, huh? And, um, you know, that's why the dream catchers have eight points mm -hmm. where the web connects to the hoop. That's for the Asapagashi Ikwes. That's for the spider woman's eight legs. And then uh, people will put a feather kind of right in the center there to catch the wind so the babies have something to look at. And, um, yeah, and that's the story of the dream catcher. The uh, Bwajike Nagwagan, the dream catcher. All right, what do you think of that? Oh, that's a pretty good story. All right, uh, you want to send us out then? All right. Well, hey, everyone. Just want to say, Miigwech Bizindawiyeg. Thank you for listening to Boozhoo, Not a Boozhoo, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Natasha, and this is Nana Buju, and I will see you again. Giga Wabba Min, Minawa! Ho! Ho! 
All right. Good job, honey. Oh, thank you so much. What says he that wishes so, my cousin Westmoreland? This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when the day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that shall live this day and see old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say tomorrow is saint crispian then will he strip his sleeve and show his scars and say these wounds i had on crispian's day old men forget yet all shall be forgot but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day then shall our names, familiar in the mouths as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbor, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispian Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world, but we few shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, or you know, sisters in this case. For he that sheds his blood with me this day shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen of bed in England shall think themselves a curse they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap while city speaks, who fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day! All right, how was that? Oh, uh, I think you got the part. <laughs> <laughs>